If Cabot's rabbit cat hybrids were real, would they have a lot of health issues? At first, the concept of a Cabot, a hybrid between a cat and a rabbit, sounds like something straight out of a whimsical children's book. But to entertain the hypothesis, if Cabot's were real, one would assume they might be shackled with a whole buffet of health issues. Let's start with the basics of biology. Cats and rabbits are entirely different species with vastly different genetics. Cats are carnivorous predators, whereas rabbits are herbivorous prey. A cabot would face an existential crisis at the dinner table. Would it munch on carrots or crave a mouse? This kind of dietary confusion alone could contribute to nutritional deficiencies or other related health problems. Furthermore, the muscular and skeletal structures of the two species are chalk and cheese. Rabbits are built for powerful leaps with strong hind legs and a robust backbone to absorb shock from hopping. Cats, on the other hand, are agile predators with a flexible spine and emphasis on stealth and pouncing ability. A fusion of the two could lead to musculoskeletal disorders, especially if this hybrid creature inherited conflicting attributes like a rabbit's legs and a cat's body. Even their modes of communication and social behavior are worlds apart. Cats use subtle body language and vocalizations that could be utterly foreign or even alarming to a rabbit-like creature. The social stress of not quite fitting in with either group could potentially lead to behavioral disorders or chronic stress. Genetically speaking, the compounding of two very diverse sets of DNA could result in a whole plethora of congenital disorders and malformations. Many hybrids we're familiar with, like mules, offspring of a donkey and a horse, often end up sterile and can have a range of health issues themselves. While we're on the subject, let's not forget that the reproductive systems of cats and rabbits are nothing alike. Rabbits have a much shorter gestation period than cats and a very different reproductive strategy. A hybrid would likely face numerous reproductive health issues. So if we're talking about our mythical cabot, it's highly probable, scientifically speaking, that it would indeed be plagued with a multitude of health problems. A creature born out of two species not meant to interbreed would be quite the medical conundrum. Now I love imaginative creatures as much as anyone, and who knows, maybe there's an alternate universe out there somewhere where cabots are prancing around without a care in the world. But back here in Portland, the closest thing we've got to a cabot is probably a cat with long ears, or a particularly chunky bunny, both of which are perfectly charming in their own rights. Stick to the rich world of science fiction and fantasy for such creatures. They fare much better in stories than they likely would in real biology.